Good morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on 1290 WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Time once again to get hip to Hickory. Dana Kaminsky joins us this morning, communication specialist with the city of Hickory. Good morning. Good morning, Hal. Hope you're well. I'm doing well. How about you? I am. I'm well. Thanks Good. so much. And i got to tell you, uh, when I saw the headlines this morning, I was a uh, council rejects tax hike. We had a uh, council meeting last night. Yes. So I know that there was, you were kind of going to touch on last night's council meeting because that was kind of, I guess, the big headlines or big. Sure. There was a lot, probably a lot of other things that went on, on too. There so were. I'll let you start wherever you'd like, young lady. Okay. Yeah. I definitely wanted to mention that because last night was a big meeting and uh, they did, the, the budget was actually presented at the last meeting by our city manager, McBerry, who I know you're going to have on after this. Yes. And um, they presented his recommended budget and it did have a two, per, two cent tax um, increase in it. Now that was the recommended that budget. That was the recommended budget. Okay. And then council had discussions last night. Um, it, it was open to the public. There was no comment. And then council began to discuss it back and forth. And the budget did get passed, but without the two cent tax increase. So that tax uh, rate is going to stay at 50 cents per $100 right now. Okay. So they also have a second, I was on the first reading, they have a second reading at the next meeting. Um, and, you know, it could change, but that was unanimously voted on by the entire council, so that, you know, that's and kind I'm, of where it's at. I, it would be unfair to ask you, because you, you're not prepared for this, and I'm sure that uh, this is probably not something that you study mm-hmm. or an area, but I guess that there's like a line item in that budget. I mean, I guess you can say, okay, we're going to pass the budget, but we're not going to pass this, or we're not going to pass the increase or the funding. I don't know. I'll ask uh, Mr. Barry. And, and, yeah, definitely. And, you can, you can talk to him about that, but I can answer that, you know, one of the cent, one of the cents on that two cents was specifically for paving, and we right. had talked about that. I think it was two weeks ago, right. and it was to restore from 60 years down to 30. 30, 30 right. Yeah. So um, the mayor had some strong feelings about maybe putting that into the bond referendum Okay. and taking that out of the budget Gotcha. and, and then hoping that the bond referendum passes and that money then can come right out of that. Um, there was some discussion about that, so that's one of those items. Yeah, I didn't know if, because so, sometimes I know that a budget has to be passed as a budget, mm-hmm. and you pass that whole thing. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you have like line items or mm-hmm. vetoes that the council could come in and say, well, we like all this part of the budget, but we're not going to budget X amount for this. The mm-hmm. budget passes, but we're taking this out. Or, so they have a little bit of, of, it sounds like to me, a little bit of freedom in there. Uh, they, how council does, they, they're the ones who ultimately make the decision on right. passing this, this budget. But they, um, Karen Hurley, Warren Wood, and you know, Mick Barry will go back and talk about the budget and get it back to a balanced budget without that two cent increase. Without in the increase. Yeah, you yeah. got to go back and do that now. Yeah, because have you have that, that. Mm-hmm. That, that revenue, uh, that income, and now you don't have that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there'll be some, of course, work done between now and the next meeting to get that to a balanced budget and do it without that two cent increase. So I don't know exactly what they're going to do, right. you know, except for the paving portion of that and, and some other things I'm sure that they knew if it didn't pass with that, they would be able to take hopefully those back out or make some changes to That's it. It's great that they're coming in this morning. Morning, I can ask yeah. that question and see how that see how that works. Exactly. More of a question of mechanics there about yeah. how that worked for mm-hmm. just for my curiosity. So uh, I'm sorry I interrupted, but go no, ahead. That's okay. it. No, no, no property tax increase. Not yep. Not right now. Not right now. Mm-mm. Okay. On the not first right reading. On the first reeting, there will be a second reading at the next meeting. Right. Um, but we did mention the bond referendum, so I did want to mention that. Also, okay. at the next meeting, it's likely that that's going to be on our agenda okay. to talk about the bond referendum and actually voting for or against that. That's council's decision again, and they are looking, they just had a meeting, I think it was last week, last, uh, I just forget the date, Monday, Uh um, to talk about the bond referendum with an attorney who deals with bond referendums, about the wording, how does that work, Uh what do you put on a ballot, how do you categorize those things for the voters to understand them, to be able to read them, how many... Uh, referendums do or questions, I guess, do right. ask on a ballot. Huh. So they have been discussing this for a while, and at the next meeting, that will also come up for discussion. So now that this two cent has been taken out, they're going to look, I'm sure, at this bond referendum again to see should there be things like this paving that's added back into okay, that. Okay, gotcha. So then that will come up at the next meeting, more than likely, and they will make a, a decision on that. So that's as well. all in a state of flux right now. Yes, and, and nothing's been decided because you've no. had the vote, but you haven't had the second reading it, on the on the main budget, right. yes. Mm-hmm. And then you, you have a proposed bond referendum. Exactly. You don't have a bond referendum yet. You Not have a yet. proposed bond referendum. Exactly. Okay. And that's a lot of, I think, what our city manager and Andrea Surratt, our assistant city manager, are going to come in and talk to you about is, is not just that, but there's lots of other things, economic development, things that are happening. Right. But they're going to talk to you a little bit more about the bond referendum and how does that work and what does that mean to a taxpayer. And, um, you know, and then the next meeting will determine if that's going to move forward. And if so, then all of us 
us as city staff stop talking about it. We don't push or don't push for right. that to happen because it is something that the taxpayers are paying for, so we work for them. And I'll tell so. you something, you know, uh, even before that, you come in here uh, every week, or most every week, and I don't know your feelings on it. I don't know if you are, are for it or against it, mm-hmm. so that's good. As a city employee, and if I had to go into court and put my hand on the Bible, <laughs> and they said, uh, had Dana Kaminsky ever tried to or talk to you one way, I don't know that, mm-hmm. so that's good. Well, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, that's- <laughs> we, should, we would definitely try to remain, you know, unbiased to things, and we, we work for the taxpayers, so, you know, we're here to give them the information and let them know what's out there and what's coming. And out of respect for your opinion I, uh, and, and your position after the show, I won't ask you. I won't <laughs> okay, ask thank you. you. Come on, tell me how you really <laughs> feel about it. I won't do that. I plead the fifth. There you go. I can't tell you I that. I can't tell you that. All right. Very good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that's that's a lot of, of, of what happened at City Council. We had a lot of other great things. Um, they did, um, McBerry and Andrew Surratt um, are presenting this to you and, and the listeners today, but they also presented the citizens briefing last night. We had a presentation about the Zara Baker Treehouse and right. the playground so that's something in the works that's coming soon we're excited about right. so i'll be talking more about that once we have the specifics of when they're starting that construction um which hopefully will be any day now we're we're, we're been talking about it for a little while right. um but to go into some some other topics um of course we talk about the sales music series every weekend right. and that's happening this friday but there's a lot more happening this friday than just the music series of course we have another band it's sarah's i think it's this kind uh-huh. and travis book who's playing tonight uh, friday night but before that, we have the Community Relations Council, and they are doing the Human Relations yes, Awards. Yes. Um, it was a little different this year. They usually do a sort of a little banquet for those um, people and the winners and stuff. Right. But this year, they said, let's let's combine it with the sales music series and have it right there out in the square, um, right under the sales. And at 5.15, the Hickory um, High School Jazz Band is going to be playing. Oh, they're good. They're good. They played at the Swing Under the Stars. Yes, and they, they, they are really good. They really are. And uh, they're going to be playing. And then at about 5.50, uh, they're going to do the announcements of the winners. Right. And then right after that, about 6.00. 10 or so, the band's going to come on and play until 8 o'clock. Very and, good. Uh, the old Harry Tap is going to be providing food for those in attendance while their supplies last starting okay. at 530. So it'll be a nice little event there. Yeah, very nice. Prior to, so we encourage people to come out and just grab their, their chairs again and come out and, and see that before the band. And then this Friday, Hickory JCs are starting Hickory Live. That's right. And that's in the parking lot across from City Hall. And that's starting at 7, where our music goes on 6 to 8. All right. And the Hickory Live goes 7 to 10, right. and Baby Black is playing this Friday for Hickory Live. And yes. it's first Fridays, so it's not going to be every Friday in June, right. kind of like they've done in the past. It's the first Friday of June, July, August, and September. Right. So it's first Fridays. Just remember first Fridays. First Fridays. Yeah, so we've got that going on. Lots happening. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I was going to say, I just spoke with a young gentleman who uh younger than I am, and uh, he was talking about the sales music series. Uh-huh. And uh, he had been, of course, enjoyed the Bluegrass Band. That was mm-hmm. uh, there. He's not a big fan of Bluegrass, but so. Uh, yeah. It was a very good band and it was well attended, mm-hmm. and a lot of folks are having fun with that. Yeah, so exactly. it's a lot of people are attending this, and it seems like it's kind of a happening deal. It is. It's a very eclectic group of, of musicians too. I mean, you're going to see something different every week. Right. So um, it's never the same type of music. Uh, last week was the Barefoot Movement, and they play and they're barefooted and they're young and, right. and fun. So you know, every week is a little different. So you know, you may not think, oh, I like that kind of music, but you know what? You never know. I, you know, there's some groups that I'm not. Oh, I don't know if I'd like that. But I right. go out, and then I'm like, oh, I'm pleasantly surprised that there I really kind of enjoyed that. It's just a social thing. Get social thing. Meet and greet. Yeah. People get watch. Outside. Have some fun. Yeah, get, get outside. Yeah, get there outside. Have a nice time. You know, I love when we have those events up there, swinging on the stars and the symphony. Just a great overall area just to hang out. Yep. You know, just get together with your friends. And we encourage people to bring their little snack packs or eat something on the square and just bring their lawn chairs and hang out. There you Dance go. if they want to. <laughs> there you go. Good time. Exactly. So, um, also, one to let everybody know, we've been talking about the citizens briefing that our our city manager and our assistant city manager have been doing. They have been doing this all around the city to lots of different groups, but we had four public presentations of this. We do have two left, um, June 5th and June 10th, uh, both at 530. Um, the, the one on June 10th I know is at City Hall in the Council Chambers, and I'm not exactly sure with the June 5th one. I don't have that one in front of me, but right. we can go on our website, hickorync.gov, and we have them listed there. But we encourage the public to come to those to learn all about what you and I have been talking about, what they're going to talk about at 8 o'clock. So we can find out. And I've got some questions. Yeah. Because I don't understand Everybody all Everybody does it. It's okay. Ask maybe, them. The, maybe they'll cover it and Maybe I won't have to, and maybe they'll just cover the presentation. But that's the, that's the main reason is I want to have them in. Exactly. Is I've got some questions that I want to to, to find out about, so I've got more information, so I can be a little bit more well exactly. informed. Because there's a lot going voter. on. We want to be an informed voter. Yes, informed citizen, informed citizen. voter. Very. Thank you so much for joining us, thank Dana you. Kaminsky.
You're listening to First Talk with Hal Rowe, broadcast live Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. on 1290 AM Talk radio for the Greater Hickory Metro, and also streaming live at WHKY.com. The program you're presently enjoying was digitally captured this past